Well, hello everyone and welcome to another episode here on the Atmai Gardener channel. I'm so glad you got to make it today. And it's gonna be really exciting. We're going to do a video on how I pollinate my indoor vegetables. This can apply to anything from tomatoes to peppers to cucumbers in my hydroponic beds. So it's gonna be a really fun episode. I know you're gonna love it. But the first thing I wanted to talk about is why I look like I'm letting myself go. I've had so many people comment on that and they said, Luke, you know, man, are you turning into a raging alcoholic? Are you uh, homeless or what, you know? And no, I'm not a raging alcoholic and no, I'm not homeless. I am holding myself ransom for mother nature. Uh, basically the reward um, that she must pay is warm weather and I will shave. So if mother nature would like to see a very awesome and clean shaven Luke, um, hey, start warming up. Uh, so the basically the agreement that I have with mother nature, and this is just something fun, I don't even really care, uh, is basically as soon as the temperature gets above 32 degrees, I will shave. Until that happens, this is staying on. So everyone uh, that's been wondering, that's kind of what's been going on. You gotta live life sometimes. You gotta just have fun with things. There's no possible way mother nature is ever going to change its schedule based on what my face grows. But, you know, it's something fun to pass the time and uh, it keeps me warm as I'm walking, so that's a plus as well. So hopefully you'll put up with it and hopefully you'll laugh along because I think it's fun and I really don't care. So let's check out the cucumbers. It's gonna be awesome. And uh, I think you all are gonna really love this. I've had a lot of questions on how to pollinate stuff indoors. And I did a video a long, long while back. So this is gonna be a good HD update of that. So stay tuned. I think you guys are really gonna love this. So the first thing that I do is I wait for there to be both male and female flowers open. With cucumbers, this is very evident by the cucumber actually being on the bottom of the flower. And that's how you can tell that it's a female. Now the male will just have a regular flower and they won't have the, they won't have the, uh, basically this miniature cucumber underneath the, underneath the flower. So let me see if I can find one for you here. And as you can probably see, this right here is the miniature cucumber and it's attached to a flower. There is also another cucumber here. So there's two cucumbers right here and right here that need pollinating. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reach around here and find this male flower here. And I'm gonna simply pop it off because that's gonna do nothing for me. Now normally insects will pollinate this. All right, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to take the male flower and I'm going to try to do this without the camera going black and focusing on the background. I'm going to take all these petals off here. Basically peel it down to its, uh, peel it down to the, the base of the flower because these petals here are only meant to attract insects and naturally that's what they do is they attract insects. And so we're going to just peel this little bit off here. And there you go, now you can see the little tuft of yellow. That is the male portion of the cucumber flower. And it's the same for uh, most squash variety, or cu uh, cucurbita is the actual variety. So cucumbers, squash, pumpkins, stuff like that. So now what we're going to do is we are going to actually kind of artificially inseminate these uh, cucumbers here. You'll notice that the female flowers actually have a, a hole in the center of the flower, whereas the male has that little tuft of yellow. That is because, uh, well, um, if you're not old enough to know what the birds and the bees are yet, uh, they naturally will fit together. Nature has formed a way to always have a male and a female type of uh, anatomy here. So, um, you know, you're getting a little crash course in that if you've not <laughs> had that happen yet. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take the the uh, little tuft of the yellow and we're actually going to insert it into the uh, the female end of the flower and just and just rub that around to rub some of the pollen onto onto the the female flower there now again this would happen in nature but uh, we don't have the bees down here 
And so we're going to pollinate those two cucumbers. And there, it's totally done. Now what you're going to notice is that over time, the, uh, the flowers will actually fall off and the cucumbers will, will be, they will begin growing. You'll know if you did a good job because of the fact that the cucumbers will begin growing. If, if you have not successfully pollinated, the flowers will fall off and then shortly after the cucumber will shrivel up. So you will know by that for sure if you have done a good job of pollinating. Now I do have one that I've successfully pollinated. I'm gonna show you that one now. All right, and so in here, we're going to take a look at this cucumber right here. Now a lot of you probably can't see that. So we're gonna lift that up there and you can now see how the flower has actually fallen off of the cucumber. Right there is where the flower was and uh, it's now growing. So, you know, you, uh, you sometimes will have a failure um, you sometimes will have those cases where uh, the, the, the cucumbers just don't get pollinated. And that's fine, that will happen sometimes. But basically, there you go. You have successfully pollinated your cucumbers indoors. And I should be having quite a few cucumbers because uh, the more I see this, the more I get really excited that in a matter of five to 10 days, I should have some nice sizable cucumbers that are ready to eat. So. Um, I will definitely keep you all informed. Again, this is hydroponic, so the results sometimes vary on, on kind of how long it will be till you have edible cucumbers, but I'm expecting between a week and a half and two weeks, I should have, I should definitely have some um, edible sized cucumbers. We're gonna do a taste test on them and see how they taste. And I'm, I'm really impressed. I'm really liking to, uh, I'm really liking what I'm seeing here. All right, so hopefully you enjoyed, hopefully you learned something new. And this is Luke from the MI Gardener channel reminding you to grow big or go home. And I'll catch you all later. See ya. Bye.